I'm Jonathan Mildenhall, Chief Marketing Officer of Airbnb. This year we had a tremendous body of very, very strong creative effectiveness papers. Um, what we were looking for was basically impact. Impact on the target audience, that impact on the target audience driving impact on business, that impact on business driving impact on culture, and because this is creative effectiveness, that impact on culture inspiring the creative industries, a new benchmark of excellence for creative work. So, you know, you take a look at um, uh, Sweden, a tiny, tiny country with a tiny uh, tourist board budget. And um, by introducing Swedish number, they created this opportunity for the entire world to call an entire country. And in so doing, get such a massive conversation, cultural conversation going about the Swedish people and freedom of speech and what it must be like to visit there. And they even um, ended up having the President of the United States, President Obama, actually referencing the campaign, the people of Sweden and free speech. That's a significant impact on culture for a relatively small country. Yep, um, uh, there were three very, very strong papers for, that contended for Grand Prix. Swedish number was one of them. And the other one, which was um, a fantastic case, very, very well written, great work, great results, was uh, McWhopper. And that was Burger King's challenge to McDonald's to um, uh, uh, fuse uh, their two most iconic products, um, uh, Big Mac and the Whopper. At the end of the day, we saw a very, very clear ROI for um, the, the Art Institute of Chicago. Um, a half a million dollar spend uh, led to, in the short term, a four to one return on investment. So for every single dollar, um, uh, they got four dollars worth of incremental revenue. But because they also um, built their membership base, the long-term projections on that was seven to one. So for every dollar spent, they got seven dollars back over the next two years. That's a huge, huge ROI. But the most important thing that they were able to do was to bring in a younger um, membership base to the Art Institute, so breathing more life um, into that institute. And then ultimately, you look at the body of work and the work is exquisite. The craft skills for that campaign were exquisite. So even though it was incredibly tight, ultimately, it just nipped ahead of it and deserves Grand Prix. Honestly, you get really two categories of papers. You get a paper that is incredibly well written and it deserves time and deserves debate. And you get papers that are so poorly written that despite the impact and despite the creative idea, they don't actually get debate because they're just not well written. The argument isn't tight enough. And what I would encourage everybody to do <clears throat> that is involved in the opportunity to win a Creative Effectiveness Award is make sure that you spend time crafting the argument so it's very, very clear the impact that creativity has had on the business.